69. Uh, here we are. Okay. Explain why PQR is the same angle as PQS. Well, if you look at PQR, it has a diameter. The points P, Q, and S are all on the same circle. Therefore, the angle, uh, if all three points are in the circle and one of the lengths is the diameter, therefore the angle opposite the diameter must be 90 degrees. Is that right? There's a, there's a set language for that as well, but if you explain it like that, there shouldn't be any issue. Okay? And what about the other one? Same thing. Same thing again. So we have, uh, what's it, P or Q this time? P to R to Q, you can see that they're all points on the smaller circle. Once again, one of the sides is a diameter of that small circle, therefore the angle opposite that must also be 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, and this one here, 90 degrees. Everybody all right with that? Okay, you can write that for me yourself. Now, explain why the two of them are similar. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to... I'll draw them out, okay, so I'll draw a P, 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 Q, S to the left here. Oh wait, yeah. Sorry guys, I'll draw the small one first, P, R, Q in blue. P, R, Q is here. 90 degree angle as discussed earlier. And then the next one is going to be a P, S, Q, which is going to be here, the bigger red one. Now, they have a common side, I think, I think they both contain P, Q, don't they? That one's R and that one's S, okay? Now, to prove that they're similar, so the way you do this is uh, you always draw one of them here, so P, S, Q, and then you put the other side down there and you go P, R, Q, and then you start comparing similar angles, okay? So, all we have to do, excuse me, so first thing I'm going to say is that uh, P, Q, R, P, no, no sorry, P, R, Q, isn't it? The right angles are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just redraw that. Sorry, guys. Just quick redraw on that one. Brrr. Okay. So, Grant, get. So, that was P, P, R to Q, wasn't it? And that was the 90 degree angle was that one there, okay? The 90 degree angle was that R. So P R Q was the 90 degree angle and it's P Q S here. Okay, start off. Uh, P Q P Q S angle P Q S equals angle P R Q. Reason being about 90 degrees. Okay? Next one, is there a common angle? Yes. That one there. So angle uh, SPQ, SPQ equals angle uh, RPQ, common, and then you can use your three dots, it follows that, uh, uh, so QSP, or PQS, or PSQ, sorry, equals uh, RQ, P. Uh, three, side, three angles must add to 180. Three angles in a triangle that is must add to 180. Okay, so you're sorted. You just have to prove that they're similar. Redraw PQR and PSQ so that the corresponding angles of sides match each other. Okay, so I'm just going to redraw. I'm just going to redraw PRQ, if that's okay with you. So I'm going to redraw PRQ, here's what it's going to look like. Just so it looks exactly like the one beside it. So it's going to be like this. And then you're going to have a Q is going to be up here. Q is up here. R is going to be down there. And P is going to stay where it is. Everybody happy with that? It's so black angle lines of black angle, red lines of red, right angle lines of right angle. Okay, rub out the uh, the similar proof. Now, uh, okay, so prove that PQ squared equals PR but PS. What PQ squared means to me is that I'm going to use PQ in both triangles. 
So PQ on the big triangle equals the corresponding side of PQ on the small triangle. So in between the, the black angle and the right angle. So what's in between that on the other one? PR. PR. Okay. Then use PQ on the small triangle, which is in between red and black. In between red and black on the big one? PS. Cross multiply. PQ squared equals PR by PS. Actually turned out to be quite easy in the end. Okay? Everybody happy with that? Okay, moving on. Yeah, see it's a similar triangle, so you match up the corresponding sides. And because the question read PQ squared, I knew I had to get P use PQ twice. So when I chose PQ on the big triangle, that automatically chooses PR on the small triangle. Because uh, it's PQ is in between red uh, the black angle and the right angle. So PR is the equivalent side on the smaller triangle. Then I chose PQ on the smaller triangle because you're doing smaller triangle sides divided by another side on the smaller triangle. Yeah. So when I chose PQ on the smaller triangle, that automatically chose PS on the larger triangle because it's in between the uh, red and black angle. Does that make sense to people? When you choose one on one triangle, it automatically chooses the side on the other triangle for you. Okay. Okay, so 71, okay, once again, you're going to be using a similar triangle method, okay? So what we're going to do with uh, 71 is I'm going to draw out two triangles. I'm going to show you the triangles I'm going to draw out here. I'm going to draw out this one here. Do you see the, uh, see that one there with the blue sides? I'm going to draw out that one first because that's the first uh, sort of similar, you know, the, uh, Triangle in a triangle formula. That's the sort of uh, thing we're looking for here. So we're looking for that one first. And this one is going to be called uh, what's a P to A, P, C, R, P, A, B. That's the first one. Okay. Next one I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw the red one. Okay. The red one's going to be this one here. Everybody see that? Okay, so the large red one is just going to be uh, P, B, C, Q, and R. Happy enough with that? Now, here's the hard part. I have to choose, I have to get make this specific combination here. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna write down four different equations: two from the blue triangle and two from the red triangle. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about here. Now, because PA is in my answer, yeah, it makes sense for me to use PA in my first formula. So PA equals what over the other side? PA. It's not the sorry. It's not the same, but it'll be the same ratio. So PA all over. PB. Do you see the, this length here? Okay, it's sort of equivalent to that length there. And then if I divide, if I then use the large length PB underneath it, I have to use the large length of this side underneath PC. Remember the similar triangles term? It's either 11 or term 11 or 12. So that's my first formula. Okay. So just get rid of those shaded lines there. So was it PB over uh, that one's over PR? Okay, that's that's equation one. Okay, let's go again. Equation two. If you look up again, you also see that uh, which one's also used? A to B is also being used. You see that? AB is also being used in this corner here. It makes sense, therefore, for me to write an equation that has AB in it. Okay, so I said AB, and I decided to use AB over PB because PB is common to both potential formulas, right? So I use PB, and then on the other side, I'm going to use uh, anybody? CR over PR. Okay, going to stop there. I have equations one and two written now. I'm going to go to the next triangle over here. 
I'm going to write out some similar triangle uh, formulas again. Once again, I can use PB. Makes sense to use uh, PB. Why? Because it's present in the answer. So I'm going to choose PB to use. PB. Now, it's going to be PB over. Uh, PQ would make sense. I have, it, I have it done a certain way, but look, I'll, I'll just I'll just jump into the way you're telling me to do, and I'll see if I can pull it off nonetheless. Okay, PQ, and then the other one, PC over PR. Okay. Is it PQ or PQ? Uh, sorry, PB over PQ. Sorry. Oh, you want me to do it that way? That's grand. I thought you were advising me to use BQ straight into BQ because BQ is in the answer. We could do that. Sorry? It, it could potentially be faster. I think I only used three out of four equations to do it. So we'll, we'll give it a go. I'll, I'll venture away from what we know and we'll. Sorry? Uh, see the way we took this side here? Yeah. Now we're going to take this side here to divide it by. Yeah, I understand why you like the method behind it, like the, the similar triangles, but. Like if I saw that question. Okay, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just taking numbers from the answer. That's, that's my, that's my choice selection. I'm just looking at whichever, at whichever side appears in the answer, and that's the side I'm going to choose. For I have so many different combos to choose from. Okay. I could choose BC over QR if I wanted, but it's not in the answer, so I'm not going to go near it. Okay, so I'm going to look up at this answer here and I just need to take down what I'm actually looking to form here. So I'm looking to form PB over uh, PB, PA, and that's over AB. And then I'm looking to form PB over uh, BQ. Okay, now that's what I'm looking to prove, and I currently have three formulas to do that. Okay, now how are you going to pick up some attempt marks on this is what we're looking to find out. Okay, why don't we pick a side? Pick a side, okay? You already have PB over yeah. PQ. Oh, do we already have PB over PQ? Yeah. Perfect. So I already have PB over PQ on, on equation 3, right? Over PQ. Um, PQ. Yeah, yeah. So, so what I need to prove is that I can do it like this, okay? I can go PB over BQ equals PC over CR and then I have to prove that that's PA over AB so what I'm going to do with PC is I'm going to go to another equation and I'm going to look for PC PC is here yeah so to get PC on its own I'm going to say PC is the same thing as PA over PA multiplied by PR all over PB okay then I'm going to look at CR in its equation. I'm going to multiply PR, so I'm going to get AB over PR all over PB. Divide one by the other, and what happens? And I end up with PA over AB, and you've proved your answer. I know it's I know it's hard comes from nowhere or K of nowhere or something like that, but uh, <laughs> there is method there. Like uh, you, you notice that I only chose similar triangles <coughs> with with sides. See, these sides chose themselves. Like PA chose itself from the answer. Uh, PB chose itself from the answer, and PB chose itself in both both triangles. The BQ chose itself. You understand? And the AB shows itself. So that's why you could do it like that. Okay? Now, uh, 73. Uh, the, angle, the triangle ABCD, BDEF are rectangles, and ECF is a straight line. Prove that the angle ADB equals the angle CDE. Okay. I think I did this one in my... Ah, here it is. Oh, I did it. I did it using letters. That's not good. Okay. I have to prove the ADB. This one here. 
equals CDA CDA ADB CDE that one there oh sorry I see it now Yes, yeah, he's a very bond with that. Just give me a second. <laughs> All right, there we go. Finally. Okay. We're good. We're safe. Okay. Now, let's start off with the rectangles. Right angle, right angle, right angle. Uh, all three sides must add to. All three sides must add to 180. We can't say triangle. It's a triangle, look. Yeah, but you have to prove that they... I'm not saying anything. Just say that the angle at the is right. I'm saying the blue angle because A... I'm saying that red red right angle triangle yeah. plus black angle plus blue angle is 180 yeah. degrees. We're trying to prove the black angle. <coughs> it's literally just... But it has to be 180. Any angle, ever, when added to the other two angles in a triangle has to be 180, no matter what that angle is. I, I haven't related the two black angles to each other yet. That's the point of the question. Yeah, but then are you going to say that angle DCE is? Just let me continue. Oh, yeah. I haven't done anything wrong yet. <laughs> yeah. How do you know that the angle at D is the right angle yet? I know it's, it's a rectangle. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, it's a rectangle. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, by, by being a rectangle, these lines have to be parallel because it's a rectangle. I don't need to prove that. It says it's a rectangle. Therefore, alternate angles are on the cart. So that means that that's blue equals blue, and it also means black equals black. You happy enough with that? Yeah. I think uh, everything's sound at the moment, okay? Now, uh, let me see what else do I have on the cards here? That, that one there is parallel to that one there on the basis of being a rectangle, okay? Therefore, uh, blue equals blue. Yeah. Okay, now, if I, I'm once again trying to zone in on proving that the black one equals the, oh, just and it's done. <laughs> okay, so will I, do you want me to write that out formally or are you all right with your grant? You just have to fill it out step by step by step. So, uh, the last step would have been that, like, uh, this part here is a triangle. The black angle plus the right angle plus the blue angle equals 180. In the other triangle up the way, the red angle plus the blue angle plus, uh, we, could, we could technically call this the green angle because we haven't proved that the green angle equals this black angle here just yet. But they both add up to 180 degrees. Two of the angles in both triangles have been proven to be the same. Therefore, the third angle, which is what we're asked to prove, must be therefore the same. Green angle equals black angle. We good? Yeah. And that's technically a green angle as well at the start because of. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Triangles ABD, ECD, and FBC are similar. We more or less have all the workings done for that. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to that being the black angle. All right, what are we missing here? Uh, okay. If they're congruent, you'd have to prove the sides are the same, but you've already proved yeah. the angle. Oh, I guess. But uh, I need FBC, though. FBC, I haven't gone near yet. So I already have enough information to run ABD, sip, oh, black, damn it. Uh, ABC, sorry, ABD uh, similar to ECD is already done in the last question. Now I have to get FBC information on that. Now, uh, what I know is that blue no, 90 plus, plus 90 degree red plus the black angle is 180 degrees from all the triangles up on the board there. Therefore, by selling in on this straight angle here, I can therefore prove that this one here is a black angle. I can prove that this one here is a red because it's 90 degrees. Therefore, the other angle must be a blue. You gotta write down that formally though, you've not had to write it formally, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Prove that the rectangles are equal in area. Okay, so equal in area. Alright, so this is where we go about proving that they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, 
triangle ABD equals triangle BCD. Reason? They're in a rectangle and DB is the diagonal. Therefore, B, A, B, C, B, C, D must be the same. Okay, you could also pr prove that by angles. Uh, you could also prove it by ASA if you really wanted to. Uh, black angle equals black angle, blue angle equals blue angle, common side of DB, ASA. You, you won't, I won't say you even have to, you can just specify that's a diagonal in a rectangle, hence both triangles are the same. Okay, now I'm going to work out this really formally. Rectangle uh, ABCD is equal to two times the triangle BCD. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. Okay, twice the, the bottom triangle. Okay, now rectangle, uh, what's it? DEBF, is that right? DEBF is equal to the triangle BCD plus the triangle DEC plus the triangle BF. C. Okay, happy enough with that. Now, what we can say with both triangles is that uh, BCD has an area of what, guys? How would you calculate the area of BCD? BCD. BCD has a height of what? Do you remember a half base by height? So it's going to be a half. Uh, What's it? EF. Is that right? Sorry? Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. We'll just do it this way first, alright? A half DB by BF. Happy enough with that? Yeah. Okay. The second triangle has a area of a half uh, EC by DE. A half base by height. You see that? half EC by DE and then the last triangle which is BFC has a what's it going to be a half sorry half CF by CF by uh, BF isn't it now okay let's go down here now this one here see your DB what's DB the same as DB is the same length as EF. Happy enough with that? So change your DB to an EF. Half DB by EF, yeah? And then this, the second triangle? Oh, EF by EF. Sorry? EF by EF. DB is equal to EF. Oh, sorry. Thank you. EF by BF, is it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Now, the second triangle, we said EC by DE, but we also know that uh, we also know that this DE here is the same as it's the same as BF. So I'm just going to change that DE to a BF, okay? Because we know it's the same thing. Now, look what happens next, okay? This is this the this the fancy part, okay? See what's in common with the two of this. Uh, the CF, see the half BF in both of them? Yeah, factorize. A half, the length of BF, big bracket, EC plus CF. What is EC plus CF? Same thing as E to F, yeah? So therefore, it's a half EF by BF plus a half uh, BF by, we said that's EF, didn't we? And that is hence equals twice the area of, what did we say it was again? BCD, because that's BCD there. And now we have two, twice the size of BCD. Hence, both triangles have the same area. All right, it didn't come easy, guys. It took 
took uh, sitting there and me scratching my head for 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes and just then eventually by by the time I got around to 70, 73 it was starting to really fly along a lot faster but from 63 up to 70 took me ages then after that I started to go really fast now 74 oh sorry I'll prove this okay that's all right now so I had a uh, had to prove once I'm done with that what I had to prove was the uh, what was that again that was a red red what's the other one <coughs> that's a black and that one's a blue you can see actually I, I still use a lot of color in my questions it just helps me identify the angles a lot faster okay so what we're looking at here guys is CE which triangle has CE in it this triangle here okay so CE and we'll choose CF uh, wait, CE is not in the same triangle as anything else okay so CE we're just going to write down a couple of ratios here okay so CE over let's go DE now let me ch explain my choice in DE DE is a red in between a red and a so guys CE is from uh, this one here to this one here uh, so CE over DE yeah but sir CF is also between the red and the black, and that's what you're trying to find. Oh, CF is there as well. Yeah, but CF's in a different triangle. So uh, I have to leave it out for the time being, okay? So CE over, we'll go for DE, okay? Okay, it's the same thing. We know we have to use AB, don't we? AB is in between red and blue, yeah? So is EC. EC is in between red and blue. So we can put AB here. And then on the other one, we can put a. Uh, what's the other side I have to use? In between black and red? AD. Okay, that's the first, my first choice. I'm bringing in CE and AB. And AD. Okay? I'm then going to use uh, the AB over AD again. So I'm going to use AB, which is a. Uh, red to blue that's going to be the same thing as bf isn't it and then the bf and then i'm going to use ad again what's ad going to be ad is going to be the same thing as cf okay now i've got that much done so far okay so there's sort of like a there's almost like a missing link there okay so i'm missing i'm missing one formula i'm trying to think which formula i'm missing uh bf is the same length as anybody bf equals Wait, see the way here's the problem right see the bf here and see the de here they're the only two parts that don't belong in the answer isn't that correct Everything else yeah. has its place in the answer. Out of the two formulas I made, BF and DE are the, the problem, the problems. Okay? But there is something about BF and DE. They're actually the same length. Yeah? yeah. So you say BF equals DE. And that, that just took an eye to spot that. Okay, that if they're none of them are in the answer. What is it about DE and BF? So, oh, there's some way of linking these two for, uh, equations together. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange both equations so that BF and DE are on their own. So, I'm going to interchange the two of these and multiply that one up. So, we're going to get is that uh, DE equals uh, CE by AD all over AB. And then we're going to get BF is equal to CF multiplied by AB all over AD happy enough with that put both equations equal to each other such that uh, I can just get rid of it actually just be lazy about this okay there we go now what disappears 
or what happens here. AB, change the AB with the CF and change the AD, uh, just bring the AD down. So we're going to get CE over CF equals AB squared over AD squared. Proven. Okay, uh, 74 will have time. 74 is really quick, ridiculously quick actually. Okay, so uh, like last time, PSQ, 90 degrees guaranteed, right? PSQ, 90 degrees guaranteed. Then the other one is going to be uh, PRQ, 90 degrees guaranteed, common sense. It's very similar to what we've already done. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. Okay, P or Q, 90 degrees. Where? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's the second time I did that. 90 degrees. Okay, and this one here. 90 degrees, okay, let's match up a uh, common angle P S Q Okay, and what's the other side then? We'll call it uh, the blue angle. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no green Okay, now Get PR and Maybe even a PS whichever ones in both triangles. Uh, what's that PR? Q PQ is in both triangles, isn't it? So let's pick PQ. PQ is in between uh, green and black. Pick one in between green and black on the other one. Yes. PS. Then pick. Uh, we should pick P PR on this one if we can't because it's in the answer. See the way it's in the answer? Yeah. Makes up the decision for me. So PR is between black and right angle. And which one's in the other one then? PQ. PQ. What you do then? Right. 